split open. And bro starts talking. He's like, well, you really thought you ate, didn't you? Who decided that? You thought <laughs> this was that? over? Who decided that? <laughs> okay. Dumb ass nigga. I decide when this shit is over. I was like, do yourself a favor. And fuck out of my face. So he just sends a fly. Bro is gone. And then Zelda's come. Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. And we're back at it with another reaction. Another CJ the Champ Black Air Force video. This one is for Escador from Seven Deadly Sins. And man, I I like to see what he does with this because I I was I was actually like, oh snap, that's right. He does have complete Black Air Force energy. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like, make sure to hit the subscribe with notification bells on. We are on the road to 1K. I'm just getting everything organized. I got the, the stand now. So, you know, a little I'm messing around with the angles, got the, got the light going on here. So testing everything out. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, okay. This man got to be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here, and he only scratched him. Oh, my God. All right, CJ Chant. Uh, CJ Chant. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. <laughs> but today, we have something special. Because you see, this is not just a disrespectful video. Nah, we are also returning to the oh, realm wow. of Black Air Force oh, activity. Snap. Because a new challenger is on the horizon <laughs> to be judged and to take his seat at this round table of menaces. But ladies and gentlemen, please rise as it is time to praise the sun because Escanor has finally arrived to take his seat. Like, this man's <laughs> arrogance is just straight up unmatched. Dude will literally go 0 to 100 in a second. Like, wow. This man is so prideful, so arrogant, just straight up disrespectful. I just had to give him his own episode. So y'all already know we got the evidence. <laughs> oh, let's see the but before evidence. we dive into the evidence, we have to give a shout out to our sponsor that is sponsoring this trial today, and that would be NordVPN. NordVPN is I'm actually thinking about VPN getting a VPN. VPN. My With homie VPN's got a VPN, and, speed, and I'm just it is all like... By the speed testers at I literally VPN wrote a whole VPN out there. book With that was basically talking about a gangster countries? VPN. Bro, you can find a server wherever you want to. You can I even can put up to six devices via. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit A. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A. Bodying the Ten Commandments. No, so while Bonnie, not. Lane, and Jericho are on the run from Galen and Melaskula, they end up falling into a ravine and they're trying to find a place to hide. So they end up finding this cave and they see this door. So they walk in the door and they end up finding a tavern with this dude. So when you're watching this for the first time, you're looking at the screen, you like, who is this skinny ass? <laughs> and bro is scared. He's like, hold on, hold on, holy night. Nah, G, hold on. I'm not trying to get arrested today. So then he starts talking to Bond, and Jericho's like, wait a minute. You know this skinny ass nigga? Hold on, hold on, cuz something is off. So he ends up hiding them in his pantry. So then Gallon and Melaskula pull up, and bro is sh bricks right now. So they end up getting wasted in his tavern. And they like, ooh, yes, we like you, cuz. Shoot, when we wipe out humanity, we're gonna keep you alive. But then they like, all right, bro, give it up. We know them is hiding in that pantry. But then Gallon's like, you know what? Let's play a game. If you win, I'll let them slide. All you have to do is literally have a turn-based battle with me. Bro literally <laughs> wants to have an actual Pokemon battle with me. And if you run away, you turn into stone. So dude just straight up slaps him and he is wow. cold. And Gallon's like, damn, I thought I really <laughs> dropped a little on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry ass. So then it turns morning and the sun is up. And homie is still laid out. So <laughs> Gallon is looking at this wall and he sees this ginormous axe. So he ends up trying to pick it up, but he can't even lift it. So I was like, damn, this heavy ass ass. What the fuck is this mule near or some shit? But then bro snatches it right out of his hand. Wow. Like, nigga, get your filthy ass hands off of my damn axe. And I'm <laughs> sorry for y'all niggas because y'all came all the way here just to die. <laughs> <laughs> so they like, hold on, wait a minute. No way you could be human. 
but he like, nah, I'm a human, I right. Nah, I'm a human. I stand above demons. I stand above gods. I stand above everybody. I will literally step on your ass. <laughs> so then we finally see this is Escanor, the sin of pride. And my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least about 500 pounds just <laughs> worth of pure raw muscle. His whole personality just took like a whole 180 turn. Dog's like I had to take off the light up sketches and throw on the black one, so what's good? So Gallon's like, oh, you bold, bold. You the most arrogant so what's bastard good? I've ever met. So Gallon starts laughing at Eskimo. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes. Shut out of my face. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he just chopped him in half with no warning at all. So Gallon reattaches himself. And he's like, "Ooh, yes, I like this, my boy." So then Eskinor basically says, "Yeah, uh, I basically kind of held back on you because uh, there's no point in one-shotting you because that's no fun." So Dog gets pissed off because he's basically just been humiliated. So then he charges <laughs> up to full power and he's like, "All right, then you want to talk that hot sh?" So be it. So bro just whacks him at full power. Like, my God, bro, the mountains have wow. split. Wow. So okay, okay. This man got to be dead, right? Right? Right. This man is still <laughs> standing here, and he only scratched him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that has got to be the most humiliating way For to real. die, bro. You ended up dying playing your own game with For your real. own dumb ass stipulations you that you yourself. made with it. And Eskinor <laughs> talking heavy right now. He like, and I don't blame him. I mean, it was against me. So then he's looking at old girl and he's like, listen, uh, so I don't hit females. So I'll give you a choice. You can escape, escape or, or you can die. Just pick. But then she ends up activating her DSLs and she's like, <laughs> activated her DSLs. I have been able to travel DSLs. to Japan lately and I am amazed all of the incredible <laughs> So I am experiencing Japan from home. Oh, leave a comment if you know what that means. <laughs> so she just straight up snatches this man's soul and straight up eats. But this man's soul is so hot, it literally starts wow. frying her insides. Look wow. at like she just ate a whole bag of talkies and ghost pepper chips. <laughs> so this man just straight up deep fried her and turned her into a piece of charcoal. And she is done, GG's bitch. So then he starts Dang. talking to Bonnie. He's like, listen, my boy, it's almost noon. So you stay your ass here, and that's an order. <laughs> bro, man, he's captain, and he giving orders. Hey, yo. Oh, nah, bro. This man's different. So after this, Escanor decided to take a little side quest. So we ended up fighting Gother and just straight up slapped him for him. And after this, he just straight up one shot of Gothini and drove. And then he like, next time you play with my memories like that, I'm gonna slap the f out of you. So later wow. on, the Ten Commandments launched a full <laughs> attack on Leonis. And everybody is paralyzed because of Esterosa's commandment, which is basically anybody that stands before him literally, like, cannot move. They can't attack him or anything. And Escanor's big ass is walking right up towards this nigga. Yo, like, I remember Why seeing are you moving this, right now? And bro's like, <laughs> Why should I bear any hatred towards somebody weaker than myself? All Yo. So Dog gets right up in his face and he's like, yeah, your pack gonna be hit real good tonight, boy. <laughs> this man says, please don't harbor any hatred towards me. If you would be stricken by the own effects of your commandment, then it wouldn't be any fun for me. <laughs> Yo, this man basically said, hey, yo, you better watch your own powers, bro, because that might end up backfiring on you from being face to face with me. Yo, this man <laughs> is a demon. So then Escarosa just socks him. And Escanor's like, oh, so it's like that then. And then he just pile drives him all the way down. And then he kicks him all the way up like a damn elevator. Just straight up. Like an elevator. And we like, damn, he getting his ass beat right now. But dude ends up throwing a punch and he blocks it, but the punch oh, was so dude. strong, it drops him. So Dang. I was like, oh, what's wrong? Did a coin fall on the ground or some shit? <laughs> that little weak ass punch I just threw just knocked the win out you. So then they end up swinging again, but he ends up using a full counter on him. So while Esteros is explaining his ability, Escanor's just patting his scratch like, wow, no wonder I actually felt pain from that. It was my own strength. So he charges up the <laughs> side. He's like, hmm, I guess I got to get serious myself now. So he just straight up blasts his ass. Yo. He literally launched him all the way to the lake. This man is just riding the sun looking down at him like, hmm, you really thought you ate that shit, didn't you? Bum ass nigga. And then he just straight up slams this sun in his face and drills this all the way to the bottom of the lake. And Dog said, No, I'm not even done yet. So then he blows it up and it just straight up evaporates it entirely. And he is walking without a care in the world right now. 
Let me technically just deep fried him in the lake. So to get the scrap, the lake. Like Esterosa ends up using a full counter and looks like he just blasted his entire face off. Dang. So Esterosa thinks he's already won. He's like, yeah, I'm smoking your pack tonight, cuz. All that muscle for nothing. You sorry as hell. But oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at know. the time? <laughs> <laughs> so Broly's standing there. His chest gets split open. And bro starts talking. He's like, "Wow, well, you really thought you ate, didn't you? Who decided that? You thought this was that? over? Who decided that? <laughs> okay. Dumb ass nigga. I decide when this <laughs> is over." I was like, "Do yourself a favor and fuck out of my face." So he just sends him flying. Bro is gone. And then Zell just comes in and tries to stop it, but that's just dumb. So they both go adios. The audio with the sound effects, the bass. Dude just really fried them off the map. So yeah, that was exhibit. That was exhibit A. A. Move Jeez. on to uh, exhibit B. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you exhibit B. Exhibit B consists of running Meliodas's pockets oh and my goodness. a god. So as we can see right now, Meliodas has lost his damn mind. So Escanor is like, hmm, looks like I got to clean up the little boy's mess. So he tells Merlin <laughs> to trap them both in this cube. So while Meliodas is in his assault form, bro is talking mad heavy right now. Bro's like, shut your fat ass up, you lowly human. So Escanor is looking at him like, hmm, so you want to fight, boy? So Escanor is like, yeah, I'm in a good mood right now because I can finally prove while I'm better than you. Look at your drip. Whack. Look at your animation quality. Whack. So they start swinging some Meliodas system with the Beyblade. Let it rip. <laughs> Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor, and Bro ends up falling back. So everybody's like, ain't no way this boy just lost. But Merlin's like, nah, G, hold on, hold on. Just a few It'll more minutes. Be so new. Escanor gets up, and he's like, wow, that actually kind of stunk. You pretty strong, my boy, but obviously second to me. God, bro, getting bigger, bro. He has no neck. He has no he neck. Punch him in the chest. Then he puts his nasty ass, low budget, stink ass feet on his face. Like, Come on, bro. So they continue to scrap. So Meliodas swings, but his sword ends up getting stopped by this man's muscle. God, yo. This weak ass butter knife off me. So then he starts swinging, but Meliodas <laughs> ends up using this man as a human pinball. Jeez. So Meliodas thinks it's over, but. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Look at the time. <laughs> Look at the time. <laughs> oh, my God. This looks like a fusion between Abomination and the Hulk. So then Meliodas attacks him and slices him about a thousand times. But then Bro turns around and looks at him Itchy. like, wow, that tickles. So he uses his hand, cuts the literal air, and it one-shots him. Yo. <laughs> Nigga hit him with a divine chop. So then he's looking down at him like, how does it feel? How does it feel to get looked down Yo. by a human? You <laughs> jazz nigga. Even though this animation quality is ass, it still didn't stop me from whipping your ass. <laughs> oh, bro, he just bodied this man, beat him so bad he made him look like a Roblox custom creator. <laughs> so later on, Eskimo was walking down this alleyway with Hulk. And I ain't gonna lie, man's just acting hella down bad right now. Man's just like, oh. Lady Merlin, let me get them cheeks. <laughs> the coochie, that's cheeks. What I ask. So while this is happening, the archangels are getting drunk off their ass. And then Dosio's like, my God, what is this presence? Is this a drink hitting? So then he flies outside. Is he's this like, hey, yo, big and fat ass. What y'all doing out here, man? <laughs> like, oh my, Princess Margaret has been taken over by a <laughs> I'm skipping that. <laughs> so then he jumps up and he's like, <clears throat> pardon me, but uh, it disgusts me to be looked down on by someone smaller. So allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> My name is Eskinor. Pleasure to meet you, bitch. <laughs> Dude really had to take the high ground to assert his dominance over For a real? god. So Ludos <laughs> over a god. <laughs> this man is just straight up slapping his sword away, bruh. Dog is looking at him like, uh, bitch, can I help you? <laughs> so he swinging again. And you do you, this you, weaving you, on his jaw, dog. I was like, can you please calm down with his temper tantrum you were throwing, ma'am? So he grabs him, but he escapes and he ends up chopping up his whole shirt. So then Ludosio basically says, all right, listen, my boy, uh, you got my brother's power, so uh, I'm gonna need you to run your pockets. But then Eskimor points at her and he's like, shut your stupid ass up. I ain't really gonna shut shit. You know what, matter of fact, run your fucking pockets, bitch. So straight up evaporates his sword. What? Like, should be grateful I don't slap her. 
fucked out of your dumb ass for running about. See, I didn't like see this uh, one yet. The King of Arrogance strikes again. So yeah, that was Exhibit B, and it is finally time for our final. Oh exhibit. dang! What mm-hmm. is this? I'm Exhibit C. I haven't got this fight yet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit, Exhibit C. Exhibit C consists of poking Zeldris and jumping the Demon King. So as we can see, Ludosio Merlin and Escanor are squaring up with Zeldris, Cusack, and Chandler right now. Yo, <laughs> these he's graphics looking down look at this man, bro. Looking shit. down at him like he's about to discipline his child or something. <laughs> so while they're fighting, Zeldris uses this move, and it's like a literal vacuum. So while everybody's getting pulled in, look how this man anchors himself down. Dang. This is a straight giga. Bro, say, I'm not moving an inch. So Ludosio ends up getting stuck on Escanor's back. And look at him. He's like, wow, you need a piggyback ride or some shit? <laughs> Ludosio's asking for help, but Escanor's like, nah, G, I'm good. Nah. Matter of fact, what gives you the authority to give me orders? So Ludosio's like, who the hell do you think you talking to? Nigga? I'm a god. <laughs> Bro's like, uh, okay, congratulations. You want to cook you something? Sorry, but I don't obey weak niggas. Like, <laughs> like, Bro, I just helped a bitch. So then he grabs her like a toy, and he's like, all right, then uh, you better have a good plan or else I'm going to let your ass go right here, right now. But then they end up getting slammed into a wall again. So then Escanor's like, all right, yo, I I'm sick of this. I'm about to discipline this boy. So this man <laughs> gets up and he boy. is straight up walking through wow. the vacuum. And Maz is talking heavy right now. He's saying first Meliodas, then Esterosa, and now yo bitch ass. My, my, looks like I got a body the whole family. Now. Then Zelda's talking and he's saying, nah, I ain't like them. I'm built different. Then Escanor just laughs at him and he's like, shut up, boy. So he slams his axe into him, but his axe ends up cracking. He's like, you know what, bro? I don't even need the axe. So we just straight up chucks the axe. And Zeldris is like, hmm, you've laid down your weapon. You must have accepted death, haven't you? But Eskinor is like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna <laughs> hand for your ass. So we give him the divine chop. And oh my god, look at Zeldris, where he's like, oh my god. Oh my god. He's only using a hand. <laughs> so Zeldris steps back, but Eskinor is like, nah, bring that ass here, boy. So he Can't escape. This man with the divine poke. And straight oh. up pokes him. <laughs> <laughs> that right there might be one of the most disrespectful things For in real, just history. Imagine up. fighting somebody and they beat you by poking you to death. No, nah, I would never show my face again. So after this, Escanor actually ended up losing his power of sunshine. And the oh, demon dang. king is attacking, and this little thing is licking this man up right now. Like, Jesus Christ. But then Mael comes down and saves him. And then Escanor's saying, all right, listen, bro, I need sunshine back. But Mael's like, uh, you know you will die if you get this power back, right? But bro's like, ah, if I get to run the hands with the demon king before I die, then so be it. So while they're fighting the demon, this man comes out of nowhere and stops his sword with his hand. Look at Yo. Him. Oh, my, my. Hello, bootleg Sephiroth. How are you? you see, today <laughs> is not your lucky Sephiroth. day because uh, look at the time. <laughs> it's new. And this man is talking heavy. Man, to the demon ass, dude. Dude. I can't wait to beat the brakes off of your ass. So then he tells everybody to stay out of this. This is my fight and my fight only. So they both just start swinging. My oh, God. God. Straight up rock him, sock him. He just smashes his head into the ground. He's Yo. saying, you are nothing compared to me, you weak ass nigga. Your punch <laughs> is soft as hell. So they keep on scrapping, and then he turns into like this ginormous Yo. flaming Super Saiyan and <laughs> like Inferno. So we get back to the fight, and this man is just eating all of his punches to the face. Then he just started walking him down and just laying all the hands on him. Just absolutely comboing the sh out of his ass. <laughs> We got a little bit of his backstory, and yeah, yeah, this man was a menace. Straight up slapped Meliodas and Vaughn, and then he ran out and just literally beat up an entire mountain. So we get back to the fight, and Meliodas is getting mad on him. He's like, bro, you really ain't going to let us jump in with you? Come on, dog. At least let us get a few licks in. Yeah, we So they just jumped him, and that was basically wrapped after that. And yeah, you know, after this, <sighs> the worst part of this show happened, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. One of the only reasons I even watched this show was because of this man dog. Said, sorry, y'all, I gotta ascend to the round table. Hey, I mean, at least he got the smooch at the end, though. Yeah, but all right, Peter, really. So, yeah, after all that evidence, bro, just come in, take your seat, just sit your ass down. Just to clean up arrogance in just the absolute zero to 100 switches? Nah, bro. Yo, that, that should be no question. So, yeah. The facts, man. Oh, my God. Shout out to CJ, the chap, always delivering the dope review of the black air force oh my goodness the black air force roundtable with the disrespectful moments 
Excellent. Excellent. Anyways, guys, this is Miss Composition MC that writes fiction. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and notification bell is on. Make sure to drop a comment. Let me know the next thing you want me to react to. Be mindful. There are certain things that will trigger as far as copyright. So if you notice, I haven't been doing certain anime or cartoon ones anymore. It's because like that's how I got my first you know, copyright strike and didn't even upload, you know, so, but it should be coming off March. But anyways, guys, make sure to check the link in the description if you want to support me directly. My album, Earthship, uh, my cannabis manga style comic, the most random manga ever, and my work of fiction, Ideas of Illusion. Peace. Ready for the return to fall Maybe I should be asleep But these four moon vibes got me in the deep Emotional roller coaster strapped in my seat Ready for a trip to find what I seek Passing through the galaxy into my office Translating thoughts into deep science Got the sun in my pocket, build your resilience So when the next winter cycle comes I prepare with no losses The work of the solar, it's a bar